What is up, my good people? This is the Mega Bull. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how I deciphered the dollar bill in The Simpsons and what it told you beforehand that was going to happen. And this is going to blow your mind, so stay tuned. I'm going to do it in about four or five minutes. So um, I don't have the full uh, episode here, but I'll explain it to you. So I'll go ahead and play it first and then I'll explain it. I was there. <laughs> so he's sleeping and he's picturing he's having a dream, right? And prior to this, before it's skipping, George Washington is dancing with Mr. Burns. And Mr. Burns is saying that he's getting a thrill from the Deutschmark, the ruble, and the dollar. Now what do these all have in common? Well, they were cur they're all currencies, okay? And these currencies have, I, I don't know exactly what they're meaning by these currencies, but what's interesting is that the ruble was mentioned, right? And the ruble is a Russian currency. So could it be that it was predicting that the Russian ruble was going to compete at some point with the dollar or, or, or challenge the status of the dollar. We know what's happening right now in Russia. So could it have been that that's what they were uh, predicting and saying that that would initiate maybe the fall of the dollar? Another thing is that George Washington told Mr. Burns, he, he, he asked them, didn't I fight alongside you in the war? And Mr. Burns said, no, but I was there. And so we know that, I think at least, Mr. Burns represents the Rothschild dynasty. And we know that central bankers always play both sides uh, <clears throat> during a time of war. So they, they can't really lose, right? And so um, when he's, when after that happens, look what Mr. Burns does to George Washington. And then he turns around, so he shoves George Washington and sees Richard Nixon and says, oh, much better. Now, we know Richard Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. And so I think that central bankers loved Richard Nixon because he was their puppet and did what they wanted him to do. And, that, and taking off the gold standard gave the central bankers a lot of flexibility with their banking. Now, one thing I really want to point out is that, let's see here, is this right here. So you see how uh, this A has what looks like a sun around it, right? And what color is the sun? It's like yellow slash goldish. That means, uh, um, at least it, it signifies gold, right? Which has been used for centuries, decades, millennia. And I think that what this is signaling is probably something in the month of April, right? In my episode, my last episode, or one of my last episodes, I pointed out that April was going to be an interesting month for markets, right? Whether that be cryptocurrency or stock markets. Now, obviously, I went into the whole XRP thing and what I saw in all of this. So for me, I'm keeping an eye on the month of April, for the stock and cryptocurrency markets. And here we see that there's an A, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. So I think it's starting off right in the beginning and then it escalates to April, something happens. And then we see the de-escalation of whatever it may be. But I think April is gonna be a very interesting month and you have to see what's gonna take place. And I think that this right here is probably a clue if you look at what it's showing you and what I did in my last episode, I think those may be interconnected. So I'm thinking April is going to be interesting. I think they show a lot of ones here, right? A lot of ones. Something's going to happen in April. So that's my breakdown. That's my deciphering of this dollar bill in The Simpsons. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. This is the Mega Bull Experience. Now see you in the next one.